Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 15 of 2024, we had 119 tournaments with a total of 2,501 players and 9,028 games played. This week, there are a lot of factions in blue, with the Space Marines topping the charts with 25 wins and 65 top 3 placings. Their weighted base is 18.6, which is very similar to the 17.3 they got last time. They are starting to show some consistent form at around this level, which is good even with their high number of players. The Custodians are in second with 12 wins, 36 top 3 placings, and a weighted placing of 13.8. This is a very similar result to last time, with a slightly worse weighted placing. The Grey Knights are again in blue, with 9 wins, 18 top 3s, and a weighted placing of 11.3, the third best overall. Their weighted place is not as good as their very impressive 6.9 they got last week, but they have now achieved multiple weeks in the blue group. I think they have now confirmed that they are one of the top armies at the moment. The Tau come next with 8 wins, 18 top 3s and a weighted place of 13.4. They have 2 more wins than last week, although their weighted place is higher than the 10.7 they got. The World Eaters have a very impressive week, also getting 8 wins with 15 top 3s and a weighted place of 11.1, the second best overall. This is much better than the 3 wins and weighted place of 22 they got last week. The Necrons have dropped down considerably from their second place last week, with 7 wins, 30 top 3 placings and a weight base of 28. This is a lot higher than the 11.5 they got last time. The five left wins are the main reason for this. They still have a good week, so I wouldn't expect them to continue to drop down the rankings. The Death Guard are the last faction in blue, also getting 7 wins with 15 top 3s and a weight base of 17. This is another good result for them, with one more win than last time, although their weighted placing is slightly higher. There are not a lot of factions in green, with Chaos Demons topping the group, getting 6 wins, 15 top 3s and a weight base of 17. Another good week for them. The Tyrannies come next with 5 wins, 14 top 3s and a weight base of 26, which is an improvement on last time. The Thousand Suns see a significant drop in form, with 4 wins, 18 top 3s and a weight base of 21.3, which is much higher than the 6.3 they got last week. The last faction in green is Adeptus Mechanicus, with 4 wins and a weight base of 8.3, the best overall. As they have so few players, it is easy for them to get a good weighted place in, with a few wins. Having said that, it is still a very good result for them. We have a few more factions in yellow this time around, with Eldar and Chaos Space Marines getting 3 wins and 16 top 3 placings. As the factions in yellow only have a few wins, they mostly have a high weighted placing, such as the Votan 71, as they only got a single win. 22 factions manage this one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 202. The Necrons are in second with 105 top 10 placings, followed by Custodes in third on 87 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 18.31% of all players taking them. Necrons are the second most popular on 8.16%, followed by Custodes in third on 6.8%. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy Fearless Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week, the Thousand Suns topped the charts with a win rate of 60.4%. This is another great result for them with a slight improvement on last week despite their drop in placings. Chaos Demons also have a very good week with a win rate of 54.3%, which is much better than the 46.1% they got last time. Custodies are still going strong with a win rate of 53.8%, which is around what they usually get. Admech back up their best weighted placing this week with a win rate of 53.6%, which is very good for them. The Grey Knights get a win rate of 51.3%, which is a slight decrease with the Necrons on a win rate of 51.1%. They have fallen back significantly from the 55.4% they got last time. They are considered to be one of, if not the strongest army right now, which may lead to a lot of players making lists which counter them. This could also explain why certain armies are doing well, as they compete favourably against the stronger factions. Why do you think their win rate has dropped? Let us know in the comments. Sisters come next with a win rate of 51%, followed by Aldari on 50.8%. Tau and Gene Sealers just getting green with a win rate of 53.3% and 50% respectively. The Gene Sealers in particular have dropped back considerably from their chart topping 60.3% they got last time. We see a lot less factions in yellow this week, with quite a few more in green. The Orcs topped the group with a win rate of 49.7%, with a Death Guard on 48.4%. Drukari are on 48.1%, with both Tyranids and Chaos Knights on 47.2%. Imperial Knights have a win rate of 46.9%, with the Space Marines as a whole on 45.6%. World Eaters are the last faction in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.1%, despite performing very well in terms of placings. Overall, the game is looking fairly well balanced, with only Guard, Votan and Chaos Space Marines below the Goldilocks zone. 
We do have two codexes coming imminently, with the Taiwan Chaos Space Marine codexes following shortly after. These will surely have some impact on the meta, and we shouldn't be too far off the next balance update, which are scheduled for roughly every quarter. Having said that, for now the game seems to be pretty well balanced, with a lot of different armies also doing well on the placings. The Necrons remain at the top of the running totals despite a few lower weeks, with a win rate of 55.2%. Their 4 week win rate is 53.8%, which shows they have been struggling a bit recently. This is still very good of course, but there are a few factions performing a little bit better on the 4 week win rates. The Custodies are just in the Goldilocks zone with a win rate of 54.5%. The Thousand Suns remain in 3rd place with 54.4%, improving significantly after their good week. The Grey Knights are on a win rate of 51.7%, with Sisters coming next on 51.2%. Chaos Demons have improved a little bit with a win rate of 51.1%. The Gene Sealer Cults are on a win rate of 50.2%, with Imperial Knights and Drukhari just getting in green with a win rate of 50%. The majority of factions are in yellow, with Eldari topping the group on a win rate of 49.8%, with Talcos behind on 49.6%. Only two factions are below the Goldilocks zone, Admech are still struggling on a win rate of 44%, with Chaos Space Marines firmly at the bottom, with a win rate of 41.7%. The win rates since the date slate show the game is reasonably well balanced, apart from a few outliers. The White Guards topped the win rates with 60%, although they were only two players. As there were so few, perhaps the real winners are the second most popular chapter of the Black Templars, who get an impressive win rate of 56.1%. The third most popular chapter of the Blood Angels are the last in green, with a win rate of 50.4%. The Death Watch come next, with a win rate of 48.8%, followed by the Space Wolves on a win rate of 47.8%. This is a significant drop for them, as they've had a win rate of 58% or better over the last two weeks. The most popular chapter of the Dark Angels are the first one outside the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 42.3%. The Salamanders are on a win rate of 42.1%, with the Raven Guard on a win rate of 41.4%. There are quite a few players in red this week, with the unknown chapters only managing a win rate of 39.4%. The Ultramarines also have a lot of players in red, with a win rate of 37.2%. The Iron Hands have a win rate of 31.1%, with Imperial Fists on 23.1%. Overall, the Space Marines are performing worse than they have been, although the Templars are still doing very well. The Black Templars remain at the top of the running totals, with a win rate of 51.7%. The Space Wolves come next, with a win rate of 50.4%. Noticeably, their rolling 4-week win rate is the highest on 54.2%. The Blood Angels improved their position in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 46.9%. The Death Watch ran 44.1%, with the Dark Angels on a win rate of 43.2%. The Salamanders get a win rate of 43.1%, with Phyllis's favourite Blue Boys Ultramarines on a win rate of 41.9%. The Iron Hands just get in yellow with a win rate of 40.1%. The White Scars run a win rate of 34.7%, with Imperial Fist on 33.5%, and the Raven Guard on 31.7%. As we only have a few known sub factions in the weekly, we will focus on the win rate since the date is late. The Word Bearers top the win rates with 45.8%, followed by the Iron Warriors on 45.4%. They're the only warbands in the Goldilocks zone. The Emperor's Children on a win rate of 43.8%. We do know they will be getting their own index once the Chaos Space Marine Codex arrives, which is definitely foreshadowing for their own codex. The most popular warband, the Black Legion, are on a win rate of 42.6%. The Alpha Legion are close behind with a win rate of 40.7%. The Night Laws are the last warband, with a win rate of 35.8%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.